25 seconds. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go Lucy. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. Atlas V takes flight, sending Lucy to uncover the fossils of our solar system. Tower clear. Body 180 propellant utilization has gone to close with control. The vehicle has begun the pitch yaw roll maneuver. Now, 30 seconds into flight, vehicle is 0.6 miles in altitude, traveling at 939 miles per hour. Body 180 performance continues to look good at this time. Engine pump speeds and injector pressures are in family for this thrust level. Atlas vehicle attitude remains stable at this time. Attitude rates near zero in all, in all axes. Now at T plus 70 seconds into flight, vehicle is four miles in altitude, 0.2 miles downrange distance, traveling at 1200 miles per hour. Mark 1, Alice is now supersonic. Vehicle is now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. The vehicle is now throttling down slightly. engine parameters continue to look nominal after the prior adjustment to the thrust level. Approximately two minutes remain in the Atlas booster phase of flight. The Atlas V rocket weighs now just one half of what it did at launch, burning propellant at a rate of 2,600 pounds per second. Vehicle is now executing closed loop steering. Center 5 central reaction control system is now pressurizing the flight levels. So beautiful launch sequence there. Uh, we do have uh, another minute and a half or so to go with the booster in operation, uh, getting uh, loose. We're now just under three minutes into flight. Atlas is 33 miles in altitude, 59 miles downrange distance, traveling at 5,600 miles per hour. So Lucy being lifted up out of the atmosphere by the booster, getting on its way into a park orbit uh, before we get towards... Uh, All first stage vehicle systems are operating as expected at this time. Future, uh, future portions of the launch activity, we have the, the Centaur multiple burns ahead and spacecraft separation. And the big milestone we should see Josh coming up is booster engine cutoff, which would be the first stage cutoff and then stage separation. The main separation. engine is now throttling to maintain a constant 5G acceleration limit. We're going to see a few things happen pretty rapidly. The, the booster will cut off just after four minutes. And then within the next 15 seconds after that, we should see the Atlas separate from the Centaur and then the Centaur engine ignite for its first burn. Centaur has begun the boost phase chill-down sequence. And the RD-180 is now throttling to maintain a constant 4.6 G acceleration limit. Boost phase chill-down sequence has completed. And we have Pico booster engine cutoff and a successful stage separation event. So what you're seeing on screen is an animation that's being driven by actual telemetry. Please start on the RL-10. So we are watching these things uh, in an animation happen here, but they're happening in real time as well. And as that's one. We have ignition for the first burn. All right, so there we go. Uh, we should see the, fair, the fairing jettison here. We have indication of good tail of fairing jettison. And there we go. 
All right, Nick, so that wraps up the, the first round of, of major milestones here. Uh, still very much in the middle of dynamic flight. The uh, fuel system on the RL-10 is now in an open-loop burn-off mode to burn off excess fuel in the early portion of this burn. So walk us quickly through, Mick. What are we looking for uh, in the next, in this burn and the next one? So this burn is going to end with uh, Miko uh, getting uh, Centaur and Lucy into its park orbit around Earth. And then we will then get into MESS-2, which will get us into that transfer orbit, getting Lucy on its way. Awesome. So that's going to do it for now, uh, finishing up the initial launch activities, everything sounding like it's going perfectly. Uh, Daryl, back to you.